this. So I just came back from Disney. Here's my little pass. I went to the campus to do a little bit of voiceover for a segment that I did with them when I went to Shanghai in April. April? Did I go to Shanghai? I think it was April. And yeah, so it'll be released in August and they're having a major launch party. So anyway, went there to do that. But I really wanted to film some sort of... Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where this comes from. So I was on Sephora. I haven't been on Sephora's website in a really long time. Only because uh, I... I'm not going to lie, I get spoiled. These companies, they send me a lot of different products to try and so I don't really spend a lot of my own money anymore kind of buying makeup and stuff like that. Which is, I mean, it's a good thing. If you could get free makeup, you're going to take it. I was on Sephora's website just taking a browse and I noticed that uh, I have a lot of the just arrived or like new arrivals products that was on that section. And I was like, that's actually really funny. Cause like I have that lip gloss, uh, that mascara I have. So I was like, well, why not just make a video about all the new stuff uh, that has been launched and released by all the different brands. And uh, maybe I'll do like quick swatches or something. We'll just, I improvise. We're going with the flow. We're just gonna see how this goes. So I have a big bag. Um, this bag by the way is from Who's this from? The Beach People. I wore, I use it to Coachella, I use it at Coachella for all my supplies. So I love that it's just big. It's a cute beach bag. So anyway, bagels. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna start pulling things out of this bag. That's how that's gonna go. So I got a ton of stuff. Well, actually, yeah, I did. I got a ton of stuff from Milk Beauty which I've never tried their, well, milk makeup. So I've never tried their products before. This is the Sunshine Skin Tint in SPF 30. So I got medium tan and honey. Medium tan works better for my skin tone, but it's just like this roller ball. It has like antibacterial silver. Um, and then you basically just pump up and then you roll it on. So it works really well. Like if you don't want too much coverage, this is like light to medium coverage. So it's good for kind of those girls that want like a really healthy sort of natural glowing sort of foundation. That's really good for that. Um, I might just do a separate video like including it in a tutorial so you can kind of see what that looks like. Okay, and also from Milk Beauty, I got this holographic stick. So it's like a highlighter, but it's this really, I call it like my 90s highlighter, basically. It has this like really crazy effect. I'm gonna zoom in so you can kind of see. So already, um, right now I have on, I'm cheating a little bit, but right now I have on the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. So I have on a little bit of Summer and Moonstone, I mixed it. I'm gonna put this just right on top so you can see the effect of it. It's pretty cool. And then I kind of just chop it in. Yeah, it's so pretty. I just love how unusual it is. Like, I love this, like, silvery purple color. So, I'm loving that. Uh, another one of my favorites, I guess I might as well talk about the Anastasia then. I got the Glow Kit. Um, this is the Modern Renaissance palette, which it's so dirty. I, oh my god, I'm so, I really made it dirty. But, I will say the colors inside are so freaking beautiful like I am I'm obsessed it has every color that I could ever want for my sort of warm skin tone I have a very warm skin tone and I hate when palettes are cool toned silvers and taupes and I'm like I, I hate that it's like perfect for my skin tone perfect 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 palette for my skin tone so anyway I have a ton of different color pop eyeshadows that I'm also loving so I got this this one is get lucky so it's like a golden sort of shimmer. So I'm actually really obsessed with this one. This is called Game Face. And it's like a coppery bronze color. And I like to use my fingers when I put on ColourPop eyeshadows because I feel like it just adheres to the skin a little bit better when you pack it on. So yeah, that's pretty. Moving right along, um, I also got these lip glosses, but I haven't 
tried them yet. Let's see. Let's try one on. I just want to put the nude on and I'll just wear it for the rest of the video. So this one is called Toffee Lip Gloss from Anastasia. That's pretty. It's like a pretty everyday lip gloss. I'm like really into lip glosses right now. I don't know why. I might blame Mac Daddy for my slight lip gloss obsession right now. Um, speaking of lip glosses, I have these lip balms also. So I have these lip, they're cocoa balms. These are from the SJ Edit. And here are all the colors. I love, there's a white one in there too. So there's like this plummy color. There's this peach. There's pink and then like a magenta purple. And I am obsessed with these. Like, I love the packaging. It's so cute. It just slips right into your purse. And then it has this like, the lid just comes right off. And then the product comes out. Ah, I love it. I think it's so cute. It's like one of my favorites right now. Let's put that on. And it really moisturizes your lips. Like when I tell you, your lips will be like, that okay whatever that was I feel like since we're talking about lips I might as well talk about these uh, there's another one I don't know where it is though but these are the ColourPop ultra metallic lip colors I am interested to try I haven't tried these yet I'm interested to try these because uh, these just remind me of the 90s like it's very 90s this metallic lip so that's pretty cool and then I also have these lip what are these called pretty sticks from Ciate, I have all the shades also, but I, I'm not gonna hold them all up. Here's another one. I am obsessed with these. They're all over my apartment. I have them in my purse. I keep them in the bathroom. I have one by my bed. They're amazing. So they're like these lip balms with color, but they're actually kind of pigmented too. So super, super, super moisturizing. This one is Innocent. I love Innocent. It has like color payoff to it. I like them. I think they're great if you want something that's a little bit more than just a gloss, but that's a little bit lighter than a lipstick. So those are really good. I have these concealers from Too Faced. I also have all the shades. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of the shades. I'll probably end up just giving them away to my friends and stuff like that. But I use the shades tan and medium tan. I have to mix them because tan is a little bit um, tan works well for my skin tone, but if I want kind of to kind of brighten underneath my eye. Uh, I like it to be a little bit brighter, so I use medium tan to mix in because I can't use medium tan by itself because it's a little bit cool toned and so my under eyes kind of look a little gray. So I just mix them together and I get my perfect shade, but it's a really nice sort of everyday concealer if you want something lightweight because it doesn't cake up underneath the eye and it's really kind of smooth. It has coconut water in there so it's hydrating. So these are really good, I would say, for the summertime because like I said, it's really lightweight. It's good for like a no makeup makeup concealer. And then since we're kind of talking about the skin, I'm gonna go into the Essay Edit, which I am loving these products. Oh my God. This is the Beam Team Bronze Hydrate and Glow. So it's basically a sort of all over illuminator. And then underneath here has a highlighter. So I'll show you. It gets me super bronzy without looking like a disco ball. It just gives me a really nice glow. And then I put my tinted moisturizer or my foundation right on top of it. And then once I have my foundation and everything on, then I take a little bit of this balm. And then I just tap it in. And it gives like a really nice hydrated, dewy effect uh, versus like a sparkly highlighter it's more of like a creamy gel formula so it just looks like a nice sort of it just looks like you're dewy as opposed to highlighted and sparkly if that makes sense and then also what I'm loving now thank you Estee for coming out with this bronzer I love this bronzer this is the Ferris bronzer medium D and I am obsessed with the color of this it's like a warm it's so warm it's so warm and deep like I love this I find that a lot of bronzers don't really bronze me they kind of just look like my skin tone so I love that this one is deeper it blends really nicely and it just looks like you've been in the Sun so I love this one especially for girls that are like my skin tone and then there's a highlighter I'm so sad I broke it I can't even show you it Ugh! But anyway, there's also a highlighter that came with it. And then I have some Cabral. So right in here is like the entire like Benefit brow 
set when I went to their event in May. Was it May? I don't know dates. When I went in May, uh, I ended up getting the all of the products in the shade 3, but I wanted one that was a little bit darker. And so they sent me four, and I didn't think that they would send me the whole collection, but they did. So they sent me the whole collection uh, in shade 4, which is nice. Uh, so this is the one I've been using. I've been using Cabral lately. I thought I really loved the, the stick. Uh, I think it's called Precisely. I really loved the Goof Proof brow pencil uh, when I went to the event, but I actually really like the gel a little bit more because then I realized like, I actually slept in it and it stayed on in the morning. Like I woke up and my brows were still in place. So I would give that like two thumbs up. And then I also, and then I also love the brow tones. So this is in the shade two. It's like a golden sort of copper shade and it just gives your brows, it sets them and it gives them dimension. It's so cool. Like I haven't tried anything kind of like that. It's a very similar effect to maybe like buying like a, like a blonde sort of brow gel and brushing your brows with it, except that this has shimmer in it. So it kind of, I don't know, it just does this really cool thing where your brows just kind of have this like multi-dimensional sort of highlights. So that's dope AF. Okay, so I just wanted to keep that kind of short. I don't wanna, I can literally go on all day. And so I'm gonna go now, and I'm also gonna do a tutorial using a lot of these products. It'll be like a new products tutorial or something, I, I don't know. Products, tutorial using new products video or something. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but I'm definitely gonna use um, these products, all these products in a tutorial coming up very soon. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna film it home or if I'm gonna film it in the studio. So let me know in the comments if you want me to film the tutorial at home or in the studio. If I film it at home, I can get that done like ASAP. If I do it in the studio, it won't be up until Tuesday, Wednesday. So let me know what you guys want me to do and I will do that for you. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.